All right, this is John Rigby with uh, Rigby's Pool Services. I wanted to hop on here and just do a real quick video on chlorine. A lot of you guys have a uh, misunderstood um, idea of what chlorine is. There are three different types. Um, the first one is free available chlorine. We abbreviate it as FAC. That's usually the first one you see on your test strips. This is the good chlorine. This is the chlorine you want in your pool. Okay, this disinfects and kills off bacteria and algae and all the bad stuff in your water. Um, we want to keep this between two and four parts per million. Ideally, that sweet spot's right about two and a half or so. I like to keep it on the higher end. Some people will say maybe around two. That's up to them. In a hot tub where the water's warm and this chlorine gets burned off faster, we keep it uh, on the higher end between three and five. I'd say probably closer to that five parts per million number. Um, this chlorine is constantly being burned off. At this moment, it's free, it's available, it can attack all the contaminants, but as it attacks, it begins to get burned off. Um, so we want to keep this level at all times right around a two or a three. That's why we're constantly making chlorine and adding chlorine. Your next one is your CC combined chlorine, abbreviated CC. So I talked about the free chlorine. Once it combines with sweat, urine, and oils, it burns up, it, it disinfects, it kills it off, but now it's still in the water, okay? This is a bad type of chlorine to have in your water. Um, it's it's not no good, it's used up, it's used all of its cleaning and disinfecting properties, but it's still in the water. Um, it creates chloramines, which is a byproduct of the spent chlorine, and that's what burns your eyes. It sits right above the surface because it's denser than air. And it sits right above the surface of the water, right about where your eyes are. And that's where you get those red burning eyes. Um, and if you walk into a pool and you can smell chlorine, you're not actually smelling chlorine. You're smelling chloramines, which means dirty pool, turn around and run. Um, and the only way to remove chloramines is by shocking. Now, people think shock is a chemical product. It's not a product. It's actually a verb. Shocking is an action. You shock your pool with chlorine okay shock is not a product and we always want this combined chlorine to be less than 0.5 um, if you run your test and your free available chlorine is at a three and this is at a 0.5 that tells you you need to shock okay i like to do i like to shock when it's at a 0.2 which is even lower but I like to have a really, really clean pool. So if you do a test and you get three free available chlorine and 0.5 parts per million of combined chlorine, it's time to shock your pool. And we do that by increasing the free available chlorine by 10 times. Okay, so if it's at a three, we take it up to 30. All right, now there's some guys and you don't have to do 10 times. You can do five times, five to 10 times. I like to do 10, make sure it gets everything out. Um, our next one is our total chlorine. And this one's not as important as the other two. Um, your total chlorine is simply your free available chlorine. So the good one plus the combined chlorine, which is the bad one. And that gives you your total number of chlorine in the water. So remember, even though it's spent chlorine, once the chlorine gets used, it's still in the water and the only way to get it out is by shocking. So the total number of the good and the bad gives you the total. And that's what you're looking for. Some test strips will show you the FAC and the total chlorine. Some will show you the free chlorine and the combined chlorine. Um, some show you all three. Usually um, if they just show you the free chlorine and the total chlorine, you can find this number by simply subtracting, take the total chlorine minus the free chlorine, gives you the combined chlorine. So, you know, just put it into the uh, calculations. Um, and again, free chlorine plus combined chlorine equals your total chlorine. And um, the ideal level for this is you obviously would want your free chlorine to be equal to your total chlorine. So if your free chlorine is at a three, you want this total chlorine to be at a three. Why? Because we want this number to be as close to zero as possible. We do not want any of these in the water. 
So if it's a three plus a zero, that means your total chlorine and your free chlorine are the same. Okay, and that is the whole gist of it. That's uh, pretty much it. Um, there are a lot more specific things we can get into, start talking about cyanuric acid, how that affects the levels and all that, but that'll come at a later date. Your pH also affects chlorine, that'll come at a later date, but this is just the basics. So to, to reiterate real quick, the um, free chlorine is your good chlorine, keep that at a three. Your combined chlorine is bad, keep that at a zero, but always shock if it gets to a 0.5 or um, close to a 0.5, you shock. And again, shocking is a verb. And your total chlorine is just adding them together. That's about it. This is John Rigby with Rigby's Pool Services. If you have any questions, give me a shout. I'm happy to help anytime. My number is 302-382-8963. You can check me out on Facebook or at my website, rigbyspoolservices.com. Thank you. Bye-bye.